hello guys welcome back to my channel good morning good afternoon good evening depending on when you see this video if this is your first time of clicking on my video or visiting my channel please do consider subscribing and also hit the notification bell so that you'll be informed whenever i post a video and if you're a returning member of my channel thank you for stopping by again please like share and comment on this video our topic today guys is a sad one it's about the football legend pele for those who do not know who he is pele is a brazilian football legend he started playing for the brazil national side at the young age of 16 and he played for them for two decades in these two decades, he won three FIFA World Cups. His goal count stands at an impressive 1,217 goals in 1,363 games. And he is widely considered to be the best man to ever play the game. In fact, most of the young guys that play football today look up to him. They ventured into the sport because of how well they see him played he is an inspiration to a whole lot of them and they a lot of them if not all of them respect him a lot for how beautifully he played the game and his contribution to the game a little while ago he revealed the fact that he had been diagnosed with cancer and is receiving treatment for the sickness a few days ago, some photos of him showing his body swollen caused a lot of concern and the legend came out to reassure his fans that there was nothing to worry about and he was doing okay. But today, it was revealed that he has been moved to end-of-life palliative care as he is no longer responding to his chemotherapy treatment. For those who don't understand it, it means he is no re longer responding to his treatment. So they are now stopping it and just going to try to make him comfortable until the inevitable happens. This is really, really sad news. Pele is, like I said in the beginning, a legend to the game of sport. And it is unfortunate that his body has broken down to the point that it's no longer responding to treatment. This news is going to hit very, very hard a lot of people. Even though he retired years ago, even though he hasn't been in the field for years now, he has actually been active. He has been there, still supporting the younger ones, still taking part in interviews and doing, supporting in his own way and doing what he possibly can do. It's understandable that he's no longer young. He's actually 82 years old now. This is serious. Um, this is going to hit hard, like I said, for a lot of young players because this man is an icon. An icon that a lot of people, a lot of players still draw strength from, still take advice from. A lot of people still look up to, to this day. This is really, really sad news. And my heart goes out to him, his family, and his loved ones. I pray that he is at least comfortable and not in too much pain at the end. And I hope that he's happy and he's getting as much 
attention as you can possibly get. Guys, um, there's not much I can say. I'm going to draw this to a close here. Like I said, it's a sad one. There's no need for me to push on. Um, please give me your opinions. Let me know what you think about this. Like it, share as well. And until I come your way again, guys, stay blessed. Bye.